Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara, I am a 39 year old mother of five, a beauty and fitness lover. And today is another day for indie makeup. I have with me the Cleona Cosmetics Paleo Palette. And let me just spoil this already, this palette is divine. Over the summer, Cleona launched three palettes. This is a reformulation of the original two palettes, the Arkeo and the Paleo. I only picked up the Paleo palette and they added to it the Oceano palette. I picked up just the one. It's quite a hefty price tag, but worth it. Multi-chromes, indie chromes, indie chromes, multi-chromes and duochromes, all of these special formulations, they are expensive, but they are worth every single penny in my personal opinion. That said, this palette that I picked up is the most neutral of the palette. All three are still in stock. You can buy them in the bundle or you can buy them separately. This one was $74.38 if I recall correctly. I believe the Ar Arkeo, palette, bleh, Arkeo palette is also the same price. The Oceano is a little bit more. This makeup look is in a separate video. There will be timestamps for this video as well. Otherwise, don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed so you know every time that I post. I'm using the shade Pangea on a Danessa Merrick's My 20 brush. I'm gonna use this just to kind of all over blend, but just be aware there is a ton of kick up in the pan. The imprints on the shades are so beautiful. I hate disturbing them. This one is a dinosaur, it's so beautiful. Can't help myself. This little shade here has a bit of a mustard undertone, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I have yet to see a neutral shade like this. It looked more brown than I thought on, on the images. But in the actual pan, when you're looking at it in person, it has a mustard undertone. It's gorgeous. This is the shade Tectonic. It is so cute. I love all of these. And the names are so beautiful as well. The whole pa palette has that aesthetic. I just can't help myself. I love the dinosaurs. I love the entire vibe of this palette. I love that you can create a more neutral, warm toned brownie look, and then you can use the other half of the palette and create a beautiful blue. I just, I can't help myself. I don't even know how to describe it to do it justice. You actually have to see it in person. The images are gorgeous too. A lot of the images are absolutely breathtaking, but you really gotta see this palette in person to truly appreciate the creativity of it. There were three that were launched together the other two, the Oceanic, and then I can't remember the other one off the top of my head, but it will be in the video linked somewhere. The other two did not vibe with me, at least on first impressions. When I buy an indie palette, the color story has to be perfect for me. This one had that, but overall, I really feel like you have to see this in person to truly appreciate. One, despite the fact that it's a little more neutral than the other two colorful palettes, but really appreciate the aesthetic of it. And this is a Danessa Myrick's My 19 brush. I'm being a little haphazard about the entire placement, which is fine because I want to use more of the shimmer shades anyway. Cleona is known for their beautiful multi-chromes, duochromes. I have one of their other palettes, one they did in collaboration, the Dragon Fruit palette. Beautiful multi-chromes and duochromes in that palette. So this is what I'm looking forward to most to playing with. I don't think I have any matte shades from Cleona, but for matte shadows, these are blending out heavenly like butter. I'm gonna take that original My 20 brush and I'm not gonna pick up any additional product, but I am gonna go around and just kind of rebuff out that edge, rebuff out, rebuff that edge with whatever's left on the brush. I'm gonna use Tectonic on a pencil brush and very carefully bring it down my lower lash line, not too far to the inner corner, but I am gonna use this to kind of meet that outer corner there and then blend it out with Pangea. I totally fibbed. I'm using the shade Magma to blend out that brown tectonic shade. It has a little bit more of an orangey undertone to it. 
and I want to be able to use as many of the shades as possible. I'm going to use my Sephora sponge and just kind of wipe away a little bit of the edge here. Mm, pretty. Okay. I have three of the shades here. I have, which one is this one? Epoch. And then this one is Archaea. And then this one is Crater. I'm not entirely sure which one I want to use. So far, I'm leaning a little more towards this soft pinky shade, but I don't want my look to be too pink. Hmm. Maybe I'll just use the shade Epoch and keep it a little more neutral. I don't do a whole lot of neutral shades, so this might be the way to go. So Epoch is listed as a multi-chrome. Arche is listed as a multi-chrome as well. And then Crater is listed as a foiled. I want to go with Epoch because it was hard for me to tell in the pan that this was a multi-chrome. So we're going to use that one. I'm going to use a little bit of my NYX glitter glue and just kind of pat this all over my lid. Moment of truth. This is exciting because I love Cleona. Oh, okay. That, that is breathtaking. I'm so happy I got this one because this is I've got no words. This is breathtaking. I love it. Holy crap. I just want this shade all over my lid. And now that it's on my lid, I can kind of see a touch of green and a little touch of pink when I tilt my head. So maybe that's where the multi-chrome is coming from. It's a little more subtle than I expected. That is breathtaking. And I kind of want to stick that in my brow bone as well. I'm just gonna tap it over lightly. As lightly as I can anyway. I'm gonna gently buff around that shimmer that I placed in my brow bone. No additional product on this brush. This was the one I used originally, not used, but originally used for the shade Pangea. And then I'm gonna reapply this shade Tectonic right here on the outer edge. And just do circular motions until I'm happy. I mean, I'm very happy right now. This is a beautiful palette. And then just for fun, I'm going to take that shade Crater. And I'm going to use this on a Sigma E36. It's a very soft, flimsy brush. And just gently bring it in this inner crease here. I feel like this just adds a very subtle, soft shift to my look right here. Just a little dimension. A little something, something, if you will. I'm going to take Epoch on a tiny pencil brush and spray it because I don't want it all over my face. <laughs> and I'm going to put this in the inner corner just to kind of help really make it pop. And then I will do some liner and my mascara, all the fun stuff off camera, and come right back. I finished this look off with a pair of Melt Cosmetics Half Lashes in the style Johnny. I think they have met the end of their days. I'm not going to get much else out of these. And I used the Nabla Cupid's Arrow in the shade Ivory for my waterline. This eye look is absolutely incredible. This is the second Cleona palette that I own. I'm incredibly happy with this purchase. I've only used one half of this palette. I did not use this shimmer here, Archaea. This was the only one I didn't use. The others, one, two, three, four, five, I used five other shades. They're incredible, amazing. The mattes are very, very buttery and they blended out so smooth. I didn't have any skipping, patchiness, muddying, none of it. The mustard shade here, oh my gosh, Pangea is probably my favorite matte that I use today. And honestly, in the entire palette, my favorite matte. Just because it has that mustard undertone to it, it's very grungy. I love the aesthetic of it. The shimmers are top tier. I love my Cleona in the um, singles. I have the multi-chromes and shimmers. I have several of them. I've got an entire collection of them. Not as many as I would like, but I don't get enough use out of them anyway, so I don't need more. The palette is aesthetically pleasing. The layout of it is aesthetically pleasing. The color story, I can't help myself. I love my indie brands. This one, if I forgot to mention it, is a Canadian indie, indie brand. Otherwise, thank you so much for spending your day with me. I truly appreciate you. Everything on my face is linked down below. Those links are affiliated, so if you click on those links, I do earn a small commission. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.